I was there people, I used to trip off my jump rope every time and these six steps helped me improve my jump rope experience. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up to help this video get shared around so other beginners can improve their jump rope experience. So the six tips I'm going to give to you today, it helped me improve my jump rope experience. When I first started jump roping, I used to make a lot of mistakes and now a lot of people are getting into jump rope it can be very fun and it can be enjoyable and can burn a lot of calories and burn a lot of fat the first tip is getting the perfect rope for you whether you're short or you're tall the rope should be not too long and not too short it should only go underneath your armpit and it shouldn't be too long if it's too long you're going to end up tripping up the rope if it's too short you end up crouching and tripping up the rope those are the first mistakes that a lot of people are making. Tip number two is how are you holding your skipping rope? Most people hold it at the end and they're holding it very tight. And if you have it too tight, your wrist will start to hurt once you start skipping. I usually have my skip my arm handles um, at the top of it, the thumb is placed on the handles and not too tight and not too loose, but just enough to have a grip on the handles. That helps me get the rope around and ultimately get me on a momentum and not tripping off my rope. Tip number three is you don't have to be jumping too high to get the rope around. Most beginners, when you first start out, you're jumping very high because you're trying to get the rope around. I'll say jump two inches off the ground, just enough for the rope to go around. That will allow you to reserve energy. And if you're jumping too high, you're gonna burn yourself out and you'll keep on tripping up on a rope. So I'll say, find your rhythm, don't jump too high, not too low, just enough about I'll say about two inches off the ground that will help you get the rope around and then smoothly get your cross. Tip number four is to have rhythm. When I'm skipping I usually listen to music it helps me blank out the world and I just have fun of it. I'll say if you want to improve your skipping pick up music that you like listening to pull it on and just start bouncing with the beat go with the beat and over there you flow with the flow and you just, you just enjoy it. It's almost like Zumba. <laughs> Literally, when I'm doing my skipping, I'm just dancing and I'm in front of it, burning calories, enjoying the moment. And I'll say, just do the same thing, pick a nice music that you like listening to and just go with it. That's tip number four. Mistake number five is don't have your arms too wide. A lot of beginners, when they first start, their arms are too wide. If you're doing that, that is going to shorten the skipping rope and ultimately make you strip up on the rope. I'll say, have it close to your chest, just about Five, five inches away from your chest, both arms by your side, perfect. You don't need to do it too wide, you go out stripping on the rope and you want to do that. That's mistake number five. Let's move on to mistake number six. Mistake number six is confidence, not having enough confidence. When I first started jump roping, I would strip up on the gym and I'll feel embarrassed and I'll put the jump up away. But as you improve, you start to get your confidence up, put your music, like I said, get to the rhythm and blank out the world. Once you blend them out, you go on your zone, you enjoy it and just have fun of it. Burn calories and just have fun of it. Literally, when you have the confidence, you can do anything. Practice makes perfect. You ain't gonna do it in a day, but I say keep practicing. It's gonna help you improve your footwork, improve your momentum, and ultimately become better jump robbers. That's it, people. That's six steps that help you improve your jump rope experience. If you like this video, please subscribe and click on the like button to help this video get shared around so a lot of beginners will improve their jump rope experience. And if you want to see more content like this, click on my other videos. I've got more videos on the side that I've done that help you burn calories and get you into shape. Till next time people, and jump rope for your Peace.